What's up, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Marketing for Coaches, aka this Michael and Kevin Hootenanny showdown where we chat with you for just a little while, just a little while about something that's on our mind, something that's that, that we think is very valuable to share with you and to give you our insights on it. So with that being said, let me jump right to it. Uh, the title of this episode, I went ahead and went all caps with laser focus, not only because the little single word all caps is sort of a YouTube op optimization technique, but also because laser focus is a word that I, I think it's kind of like a core part of our vocabulary. We're always thinking about what we can have our focus on and just throwing a little laser in front of it. I don't know, maybe brings it into the 21st century, I suppose. So there's a little bit of news that you might have heard about. You might not have, depending on how plugged in you are to things like new Instagram policies. But as you were probably well aware, Instagram for the longest time, and this is true for a lot of social media platforms, only allow a single link in the profile bio. So if I give you a little bio, you have your handle or whatever it is, you have your little bio and you say who you are, what you do, yada, yada. And typically there's only one link allowed. It's why services like Linktree basically exist and got off the ground and got so popular and started making so much money because it was, you know, you need more than one link to represent yourself, except you were only allowed one in the profile. So Instagram now allows, and this is, I think just last week, they now allow five links in your profile bio which at first blush is kind of like, okay, cool. I, I've, I've been wanting to put more links in that bio. It's, it's a really great way to like drive clicks. I want people to be able to discover me where I want them. I want to be able to drive them to a couple different places. This is great. It's one less click for my potential prospects, one less step for my potential new clients to you know find out more about me. And this also got me thinking about something that we talk about a lot here at Boxer. And I'm going to let you talk here in a second, Michael, because this is something that we think about and talk about quite frankly so often is that more isn't always necessarily better, especially when you're thinking about where you want to be driving your prospects, your future clients. You want their journey from wherever they're at, from wherever they might find you first, from there to your next best awesome client. You want that journey to be as direct and clear as possible. And sometimes throw in an opt-in here, a check out my channel there, a read my blog here, a hop on over to Pinterest where I post some stuff there. Like, obviously you want people to have the opportunity to get to know you, but you don't want to confuse people with too many options because you may start to engage with things like the paradox of choice or, or just things like that that will basically stall someone's journey from where they're at to where you are. Um, and so that's obviously, again, like I said, a topic we talk about a lot. And so I kind of wanted to get your thoughts on it for the show as well, because I know it's something that you, that's a drum you beat quite loudly and quite well, I think. <laughs> yeah. So um, I like beating drums loudly. And <laughs> <laughs> as, as a musician, as a past musician, drums, not your first instrument, but familiar. <laughs> or my third or fourth or fifth. I'm talking about drums. Yeah, no, not good. Um, there's two things. There's two things I want to comment on here. I'll try and, and try and keep this as, as short and succinct as I can. Number one, I love uh, the 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 thought experiment of, of thinking about this in terms. So this reminds me a lot of um, operating systems, and when 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 operating systems will come out with a new feature that makes some old product obsolete. Right. So you're thinking I'm, I'm, I'm thinking is a, just a, the first example that jumps into my head is uh, a, a something that makes your screen uh, takes out some of the blue light. Right. So so a, sun, a sunset, a sunset feature. Mm -hmm. Operating systems didn't used to do that. You used to have to get third party software to do that. Operating systems do that now. And so you've got this product obsolescence, you know, RIP link tree. Is kind of where I'm going with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, as you know, as we're all we're all makers, we're all creative types here, and everyone watching, you know, coaches, every we're all we're all creative types, and so as you know, just it's something, it's an interesting thing to to think about as you're creating your your coaching programs, as you're creating your courses, considering um, things like obsolescence, right? Make sure, you know, see, do the best you can to, to plan ahead and think about these things. Often yeah. you can't think about them. In terms of the, the link tree itself, five links, um, I mean, you said it all really, really, really well. You know, what I would, the one thing that I would say is it, it's called, it's called a funnel and, and funnels start out <laughs> really mm -hmm. wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. And, and, and as you, you, they get closer to the bottom, you want to focus that traffic, right? Um, 
So uh, to your point, Kevin, more is not necessarily better. So if you have a, a fantastic offer, um, ideally on your website, you know, or, or maybe a, a click funnel site or, or something like that, um, maybe consider, even though you can put five links up there, maybe you don't put five links up there, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe you just don't. I, I certainly wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't, you know, put links to other social, my other social media properties on there um, because they're already on your social media. Um, they, they've, they've looked, they're looking at your links. They're clearly mm -hmm. interested in clicking on something. Why not mm -hmm. click them? Why not let them give them the opportunity to click on the thing that is going to be most effective for them, right? Exactly. What, what the, deliver the most value that you're able to on their behalf, um, you know, nine times out of 10, that's going to be one thing, one link. Yeah. And you don't want them necessarily skittering around on the surface at the same part yep. of the funnel. You don't want them skipping like a stone across a pond, yeah. unless maybe you do have one social media channel where you have all your best value. Like maybe you're just super duper on top of your YouTube <laughs> channel and you've got so much stuff there that already funnels down into all the value you have on your website, all the value you have with your courses that you create, all the value that you have with the PDFs you publish, the books you've written, um, the sort of masterminds you run, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, on into success. Uh, maybe you want to drive them there. So, but you really don't want them spinning their wheels is the thing. You don't want to send them somewhere where they're not going to learn anything new about you or get any closer to a conversation yeah. with you, whether it's been Zoom or on the phone or however. So it's, yeah, it's and, really and again, smart. And, and again, if, if YouTube is the place to go, because that's the way that you've designed your product marketing system, right? If you've got a mastermind, if you've got a course, if you've got one-on-one -on -one coaching and you've got all of that organized so that it sells through YouTube mm -hmm. and that's that's where that funnel is, then send them to YouTube and don't get send them, them to your website. Yeah, get them there. Get, get, them, yeah. get them on their next step towards you. Like we throw that term customer journey around. And so just that's something to be mindful of, something that we're mindful of, I would say to a fault, but quite frankly, it's not to a fault. It's to our success <laughs> and to our credit that we're very mindful of the customer journey, where people are landing, where they're being sent, where they're going. Um, and as coaches um, and business owners, you all are aware of that as well. So anyway, just wanted to share that little tidbit with all of you and uh, give you give you a little peek inside of our weird marketer brands. Maybe not so weird, but still. Hope that was valuable for you. If you have any questions or comments or contributions, you know where to go. In the comments, let us know if you have anything that you want to share or say. And of course, if you do want to connect, we'll drive you to the website. <laughs> Reach out there. You can email us, Kevin at Boxer.Agency, Michael at Boxer.Agency. Very easy to get a hold of us. And we will talk your ear off about this kind of stuff. If you let us, if you want us to. So yeah. being said, we'll talk to you again here very soon. Like, share, and subscribe.